Hi everyone! Today I'm fighting a little bit of a cold, so I apologize for the sound of my voice, um, but I wanted to get this video up before it got too late. Um, so in this uh, process video, I dug through my stash of products that I've had for probably at least four years, and I just really am trying to use up these old things that I have sitting in my stash and so that I don't feel guilty when I buy new products. Um, in addition to using my stash, I also challenged myself to use the color green, which is a color that I don't use very often. I don't know why it's a nice color, but I just don't use it a lot when I'm scrapbooking or making cards. Um, so I found a designer paper in my stash that was green, and so I thought it would work well with the photos of my little puppy that I'm scrapbooking today. So um, I encourage you to dig through your stash and challenge yourself to use your older products as well as uh, maybe a color that you normally don't use and pull out your stamps because as always I'm going to be using stamps quite heavily on this layout so stay tuned and I'll see you um, at my scrap table so here's the basis of my layout and I'm using these three photos that I printed from canvas.com and they print Instagram photos at 3x3 with a white border for 25 cents each and to start my layout I'm using my postage edge punch and I'm punching all the way around this craft cardstock and then I end up flipping this green cardstock to get my layout a little more horizontal which I like better so for this layout I'm really digging through my stash and I'm using items that I've had for years that I just need to get out of my <laughs> scrap area and um, put them on the pages I'm using all scrap uh, designer paper which is this little brown piece too and um, this little green is just everything is a scrap basically <laughs> so um, here I'm using my stamps to make an embellishment and I'm using my Bic alcohol markers to color it in no shading or anything and I stamped it on craft cardstock instead of white because I wanted it to be not a stark white color so here's my basic colored image and I just fussy cut that out and that was a Simon Says stamp image and I'm using my um, distress ink in vintage photo to distress and add brown to the entire border and I cut it down by half an inch on both sides and I matted it on a 12 by 12 white cardstock so now I'm just sticking everything down and um, on this layout I use a lot of stamps to make my embellishments which you'll see because I don't really have embellishment kits I don't like to purchase those because um, I usually don't use everything in it so I feel like it's a waste of my money so I'd rather make my own with stamps so you'll see how I do that here and here my ATG gun <laughs> ripped my little paper there so instead of trashing it I just decided to use the two pieces instead of making it look like one layer I'm going to purposely tilt them at different angles to make them look like two layers so that it was a little more intentional and then here's some more um, scraps from my little box of scraps and the way I pick my layers here is mostly by color and I like to have contrasting colors um, so that they don't blend in with each other if that makes sense so I'm using the lighter color to contrast between the craft card stock and my photos and then I'm using that green as just a little pop of color to add in that green again and then I'm using that brown card stock behind the photos because all the photos have a white background or white border so I wanted to contrast behind that and then again I'm adding another cream because I didn't like the way that green looked against the craft it just blended too much so I wanted a little more contrast so that's how I came up with these layers and why I chose the colors that I did and so now I'm just going to glue everything down so far with all my papers and then um, I'll get on to the embellishments with my stamps so um, yes so these photos I adhered um, at an angle at first but later on um, you'll see that I straighten them out because I I made all the layers kind of tilted um, and so I thought that the pictures would look good tilted also but <laughs> I end up straightening them out and so here's where I'm going to journal and I added some stickers there to add some interest and then I wanted to tuck it behind that posted postage edge but um, my photo was sticking out too far it was covering the journaling so I had to cut it down and so now it fits well and so it looks like that paper is poking out from behind that cardstock so now with my chipboard I'm just going to take my white craft ink from Colorbox 
and I'm just using my sponge dauber to spread the ink around to give my chipboard like a white washed look. And this is a pigment ink. And again, I believe this is from Colorbox and then mine is drying out so it, I had to press pretty firmly. And then this dark brown, um, again for my scraps, is uh, basically what I'm using to ground my layers, kind of to create like a border, if that makes sense, so that it doesn't look like it's floating. And then I also put that green paper behind the little puppy because I didn't like how he looked against the pattern paper, it was just too busy. So I'm just trying to use up all this brown and I wanted to put it under this puppy, but again as a grounding element but it was just too much so I changed my mind and I'll show you what I do later. So now I believe I should start gluing things down and then I'm going to start embellishing with my stamps. So this is from Webster's Pages and I'm using two Stampin' Up! inks and for this first image I'm using the stamp um, the technique called rock and roll where I stamp it first in a, a light color and then I roll this the um, stamp in a darker color to get this two-toned image. So I like the way that looks. So then now I'm using um, these stamps from my mind's eye. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm just going to stamp it in the both colors as well. And then I'm also using a circular image from that same my mind's eye stamp set in both colors. And then I'm just going to cut these out and these are going to be my embellishments. So I like making my own embellishments this way. I can customize them any way I want, so, um, and I don't have to buy a kit for it. So I'm also using my brads, which I haven't used in ages. <laughs> and I use this old foam stamp that I've had probably since 2005. And I use it as my push pin, with a push pin to poke my holes. And then I actually put some brads on a layout, which again, I haven't done in ages. <laughs> so it was nice to use those older products. And so here's all my cutout stamped images and I'm just trying to figure out placement. And so again when I'm looking for placement I'm trying to fill in voided areas or areas that have weird corners and things where um, things intersect. So that's why I put these two over here on this right side where the green intersects with all the layers there and then up above the first photo where there's kind of a void weird spot there. Um, I'm adding um, this camera wood veneer from Studio Calico and then I had another heart chipboard image that I had in my stash as well. Um, so I'm going to start coloring and gluing these images down and I'm going to color the heart and color the um, camera wood veneer with my alcohol markers from BIC. So yeah, very simply just adding these embellishments and again, here's my Bic marker where I'm going to color in this chipboard. <coughs> and yeah, I can't even remember the last time I used chipboard. So, <laughs> And then the wood veneer is probably the newest thing I've used on this layout. So um, as you can see, I just opened that package. So everything else is super old. And then I took another little green scrap and I'm going to glue it to the back of the wood veneer so that you could see the green behind the um, camera instead of the dark brown. So there's that. And now um, I'm just going to start gluing everything down, I believe. Yeah, and then um, here's where I ground the puppy. I just use my gray colored pencil and I create a shadow underneath him. That's very subtle, but it does ground him, so it looks like he's sitting on something. So I like the way that looks. And these again are from Stampin' Up! This is their version of um, enamel dots. I don't really like these, so they've been sitting in my stash for a while because I haven't used them. Um, but I just started to pull some out and use them on this layout. They work, I just don't like that they're all the same size. And then the way that they peel off the, the um, sticker sheet, they don't peel off nicely. And sometimes I peel it without the adhesive, so then I can't use it. And it's just, they're okay, but they're not really enamel dots, so I don't like them that way. I used one there for the dog's collar, which I thought was cute. It, it makes him pop a little bit more. And then these are some old stickers um, from Cosmo Cricket with some cute little phrases on it. 
So I'm just picking a few and I added them here to the bottom of my layout. <clears throat> and then um, added a couple more of those dots there. And that finishes this layout. So everything is from my scraps and um, a lot of stamping here to make my embellishments. So I hope you like this layout and I hope you are inspired to pull out your stamps and pull out some old products that maybe have been collecting dust in your scrap room. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.